Okay. All right. Approximately 9.30 p.m., uh, we got a report of a fire on Marsh, Marsh and Corvin Street. Uh, the fire was reported in one of the cargo ships that was docked at the port. Uh, companies responded. They found a working fire on the 10th floor. It was approximately five to seven vehicles fully involved. Uh, the fire quickly extended to the 11th and 12th floor. The members uh, made an attack to an attempt to extinguish the fire, and because of the intense heat, they got pushed back out of the other area where the initial fire was. Uh, two firefighters were uh, lost in this act while conducting this action of backing out of the structure. Um, searches were initially made to recover the two firefighters and we were unable to do so so a second alarm was quickly established and we also called outside rescue companies up and down the uh, the coast or the east we also called numerous rescue companies uh, rescues uh, UIC uh, rescue companies throughout the, the 11 region the 11 regions of New Jersey, and we also reached out to New York City. Um, the several rescue, specialized rescue companies came to uh, this location and they assisted us with uh, primary and secondary uh, searches. Uh, the two individuals were removed from the structure. Uh, unfortunately, um, we, we lost two members today. This was a tragedy, and you know my heart goes out to the family of each of these members, and also the Newark Fire Department. Uh, I want to thank the outside departments who came to the city of Newark to assist us with this uh, fire. Uh, it was uh, pretty intense, and the outside companies and, and throughout the state are in the city and state, state and outside of the state of New York, are New York City, um, Melbourne, Elizabeth, uh, Bergen County, Melbourne, Jersey City, Jersey city and, and, and a whole host of other departments throughout the state. Uh, and I'll be remiss if I didn't thank them all. And we're gonna continue to work and we're gonna continue to pray for the family of the two members that were lost tonight. And that's, that's all right. Mayor Baraka, just want to first thank all of the fire service that came out and supported our guys today. Uh, obviously the fire chief, uh, told you that we lost two firefighters today. Uh, tragedy uh, for us in the city of Newark and, and uh, tragic for all firefighters who know what it means to go into a burning structure and in a danger that, that uh, you, you're going to have to experience when you do so. Uh, the fire is still happening now, as a matter of fact. The fire is not out. The fire is still happening. We still have uh, agencies and guys inside now still trying to put this fire out in, in, in this boat. It's about 5,000 cars on a boat, just to get a perspective of what we're talking about here. It's a very huge structure uh, that these, these guys had to breach. Uh, uh, and in the process, we had two calls for two maydays, and we had a response from fire service companies all over the state who came here to help us uh, look for uh, lost fire guys from the city of Newark who unfortunately did not make it this evening. Our prayers go out to them, to their families, uh, to their brothers and sisters in the fire department uh, who fought beside them tonight uh, and many, probably many fires before this one. Uh, I saw the kind of acts of bravery and camaraderie today that's unparalleled. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's very, very, very traumatic for all of us here in the city of Newark. And we ask everybody to pray. Pray for the city of Newark, pray for the firefighters here, Pray for the families that have lost a loved one, loved ones in this struggle, uh, and we're going to continue to do what we can to put this fire, this structure out. Uh, and I, again, I just want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting us here in the city of Newark today. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, 
Well, we don't want to. We don't want to uh, reveal their names. We want to talk to their families first. It's like inappropriate to say who they are to you guys without talking to their families first. Uh, just had a question. Thank you so much, man. Yep. Just had a question in regards to uh, is this a common operation in, in the same U.S.? Still... I, I don't. I don't think this is common, but I'll let the chief talk talk to that. No, shipboard firefighting is, is it a unique? Uh, skill and it's this is not a common fire for the city of Newark and it's the Newark firefighters uh, But it, it's in this city and we have members brave men and women of the Newark fire department that go out and they put these uniform on and they're they, they Fight fires and protect home and save life in the city of Newark every single day and just like, although this is a difficult fire, it's a different type of fire, they're still willing to put themselves on the line for others. And this is a unique service that we're in. We love what we do, uh, and we, we love each and each other, and we protect each other. And it's unfortunate when- Thomas, you have 3.30 hours, you have 3.30 hours. It's unfortunate when we have, uh, you know, loss. This is, this, is, this is a tragedy, man. This is something that I, I as the chief, never want to face, but uh, we have to be there. We have to be strong for the family at this point. Uh, Thank you so much, Chief.